More than 10,000 wreaths will be laid on gravestones at Camp Nelson National Cemetery this weekend. It's part of Wreaths Across America's nationwide event to preserve the mission and memory of U.S. soldiers. Today, the wreaths arrived at Camp Nelson with the help of a few dozen volunteers. LEX 18's Sophia Malone has the big story at Five Bird. Look here, ain't that beautiful? Joe Barker's been up for a while. <laughs> a farm! I've been out there fooling the cattle. I, I sure got my mud on. But a busy morning didn't stop him from showing up at Camp Nelson to honor his fallen brothers and sisters. Well, this is sacred ground right here. Barker followed behind two Wreath Across America trucks this morning, carrying thousands of wreaths. 10,000. 413 wreaths. They'll be placed by headstones around Camp Nelson on Saturday morning. It's a wonderful thing they can do escorting these and uh, it, it gives uh, respect for the soldiers, you know, it's a period here. He and dozens of volunteers unloaded the trucks. A lot of work, but it's a good, good cause. A good cause Arnold Kramer says he hopes will touch people's hearts. Well, a lot of the veterans don't or not even don't receive anything during the holidays. Not even postcards. Each wreath costs about $15. Which isn't a lot, really. Almost anyone can, can do that. But when they start to add up the way they've added up, yes, it comes to a lot of money. This year, Wreaths Across America raised more than $100,000 locally. The wreaths don't come from the government. Ultimately, the goal is to raise enough money to lay a wreath on each of about 16,000 graves. It's a goal they're getting closer to every year. I think it's going to grow. I think last year we had 5,000 wreaths. This year we had 10, over 10,000. And it's a, it's a wonderful organization. In Jessamine County, Sophia Millar, LEX 18 News. The wreaths will be laid this Saturday at noon at Camp Nelson National Cemetery. Volunteers will also be reading the name of every veteran, even if they run out of wreaths to put by their graves.